Water that is backed up, there is chemicals, there is sewer, uh, there is sewage in there. If you are feeling ill in the aftermath of the storm, seek medical help. Our team will be canvassing um, Woodside, East Elmhurst, Bronx Neck, Edgewater, and the Bronx, making sure that people understand and know where to apply for individual assistance, and also to check in on, um, on their medical staff. Thank you so much. Thank you, Congress member. Everyone, look, you're seeing families who have been devastated. We were just with Julia a few doors down. She's 77 years old. She only has a small pension and Social Security, and now tens of thousands of dollars of damage in a matter of minutes. She said it was 10 minutes, 10 minutes where there was no water to suddenly the entire basement's flood. Yep. And a huge amount of damage. And she doesn't have that money. And right. almost everyone in this area would never have that money. We have to get them that money. I want to thank, of course, uh, Deanne Criswell, our FEMA administrator, who was our emergency management commissioner. Thank you for always remembering where you came from here and coming back to help us. Senator Schumer, Congress member Ocasio-Cortez, and of course, Hello. President Biden. This disaster declaration, it's exactly yes, what we I need. Am. But now comes the part of getting everyone the money they deserve. Right the city is going to send teams uh, out right to, the to right all affected areas, door to door, field. to make sure people sign up, to cut bye through bye. the red tape. People oh, need money, and they need it quick. That's what's going to make a difference. They've just gone through devastation. They need to be back okay. on their feet. They don't have a way to pay for it unless okay. we get this federal money in their hands. We have to make sure it actually gets them, gets them quick. And the point about the insurance companies. The insurance companies are going to have to be forced, and I'm asking our federal leaders to help us, to provide flood insurance, not just in coastal areas. This storm has now rewritten the map. We used to think flooding was a coastal thing. It's not anymore. It can happen all over this city. People have to be able to get affordable flood insurance for flooding that can happen anywhere. It's a new world now, and we need help with that as well. I want to just finally say, our leaders in Congress, these are two of the people who have been sounding the warning on climate change for years. Congress member, God bless you for the Green New Deal. We're applying it right here in New York City. Even before the federal government gets everything we need, we're doing it here. But the bottom line is, this is what climate change looks like. It's going to take a massive investment, both to stop the pain that people are feeling, but also to reverse what's happening to our environment. But it's our only choice. And we're thank God we have leaders who understand that and are doing something about yeah, it. One thing I would add, related to what the mayor said. Están escuchando todas las necesidades de esta gente muy grande, un trauma emocionalmente, médicamente, pero también financieramente. Y es muy importante que... Thank you so much, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Did they warn people enough? They said we needed more, uh, uh, I think, more advance notice from NWS and NWS. Are you going to talk about this? Thank you so much. President Biden is visiting the area of Queens, New York tomorrow. What do you think is going to come out of that visit? Do you think something positive is going to come out of that? We don't know, no. because look, it looks much better than before. Yeah, like I only see a photo of instead of volunteers coming and helping people who can't help. I know people all over here that need help. They need, they need help, physical help, people to come and help clean yeah. up. And you yeah. haven't seen that yet? Nothing. We Zero. have to call our only, friends to help us. You know, they came and brought the buckets. And it's they came and dropped the buckets. They came and dropped the buckets. We need then volunteers. But now it, it, it might be it's even probably and too late. And then red. I for saw some red people, because they're already cleaned up. You know, can, if you were here a couple days ago, they were piled. Outside, like this. Can All I have your, your first and last name and spell it out for me? Sorry. Can I have all your names and spell it out? Sure. It's Nieti Chetri, N I Y A T I C H H E T R I. And the amount of money that I spend on Ubers, forget it. It's still here. <laughs> Uh, so 
what makes you think of the local politicians and Chuck Schumer coming to the area and your feelings? A waste of time. All it was was a photo op for them. They had a microphone set up and they refused to talk to the community. They talked to the press, but not the neighbors. They might have, it was just a waste of time for, for the neighbors. The neighbors didn't learn anything. They handed out a piece of paper and said, go to 4602 47th Avenue. Big deal. That's it? No. Doesn't work that way. Not when you get the homes that are flooded almost up to their ceiling. I mean, the sanitation was the best people that came through here. They listened, they held our hands and everything. The city officials, they did nothing. But that's what a lot of the homes look like.